Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a good start of the week so far. And welcome to this new video on uh, on Fetch or ASI. Wanted to do a full update here. Wanted to keep you keep you keep you in the mix. Keep you updated on what's going on uh, and uh, and what you need to know. Um, so in in general, we'll talk about that. I mean, that there's no real information still on. Uh, what's going on with 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 ASI and and when we will see that that whole transition from fetch into ASI because that is something um, we're still waiting for of course um, but uh, but uh, yeah I mean that's 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 just what it is I mean I I think it's they they've done a decent job at migrating all the tokens and getting all the parties involved um, in on the deal and in on the in on the token swap but I do think the communication and just the development of the situation right now has been bad. All right, I'm, I'm not sure why they are not transitioning Fetch into ASI, because right now it's just a little bit weird. You had all these these good projects. Personally, I think Ajax, for example, was a better project than Fetch, but now it's all Fetch, uh, while they're still their own project as well. So, weird situation. But if we look at the technicals, we're very bullish um, over the course of last week, or at least, uh, well, last week since like the, the 6th of September, right? So, so, so one and a half weeks ago until last week, Thursday, Friday, um, after that, had a bit of a pullback. That's normal. Tomorrow we have a big economic uh, event with the interest rate um, interest rate decision, and in general the FOMC uh, a press conference afterwards. So it's normal to get some sort of a pullback afterwards. But I do think that what you already saw is that we um, Fetch had a lot of momentum over the majority of last week, and then Friday you saw a lot of momentum kick in for the entire market. That's when when you saw Bitcoin really rallying up to that local top right here at 60,600 and fetch lost the correlation to the market or, or fetch when the market kind of was the strongest fetch lost that momentum while also hitting a significant resistance level by the way here around 1.5 big psychological level uh, we tested it a little bit lower um, but that's what you saw i thought it would be more likely especially also because i expected that momentum uh, from the mar markets i thought it would be more likely we would be able to push through at least to 155 and 1.6 was wrong about that because friday we did not see that same momentum for for fetch and then we kind of formed a, a lower high right here kind of a double bottom and since then we have lost the uptrend and what you also saw is that we had a lot of momentum and, and we also we also talked about that right i mean when fetch was was down here what we saw is that fetch was gaining a lot of momentum hopefully you can see this uh, see this right but was gaining a lot of positions, was gaining a lot of momentum. So that's great. That's usually when Fetch does the best. Not always, but usually. And we've also lost that. All right. We also lost that since since Friday, right? Um, um, when when we also just in general saw a bit of a sell off. So what you see right now is that the momentum is kind of fluctuating up and down um, with a relatively bearish uh, CVD. You have buys coming in here and there. But you also have shorts coming in and that's in combination with the technical structure what you can see here is that we lost the uptrend so ultimately if you zoom out here to uh, to to make a to make a summary of, of what i expect here from fetch if you zoom out here i still think we are super bullish all right we we got a massive bullish breakout here and usually when when you do something like this right so so this is this is a key level usually when you do something like this and, and you reclaim it beautiful drawing usually that's a bullish structure and that's also what i still expect from fetch and that's also what i still think the market can facilitate um but short term it does look likely that we'll lose a little bit more a little bit more momentum and that we will see a pullback into this area right here between 1.2 maybe 1.15 maybe a spike into 1.1 but i would be surprised by that and that from there we'll consolidate and then eventually when the open interest starts to rally again then we'll be able to test 1.45 1.5 and break above that eventually, I think. So those are my thoughts. That's what I expect from Fetch for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments or join the Telegram or the Discord group to ask me. There you can tag me and I'll be able to see it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, let me know. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in my next videos and bye.